Hey viewers, welcome to the first video of my new project. And this project is going to be about designing a new game. So, basically you guys are going to help me design a new game. And the first thing we're going to do this video is we are going to select a game type. In the remainder of this video I will present to you 12 different game types and it, the new game is going to be one of those. So if you want to participate in the game design process, if you want to have some influence on it, please leave a comment on the video with all 12 of the game types in there. Listed 1 through 12, 1 being your favorite game type and 12 being your least favorite game type. I'm not going to count any comments that only have a favorite game type in there or only say like this game type sucks. So please if you want to participate in this make a list of all 12 and rate them 1 through 12 with 1 being your favorite, 12 being your least favorite. So the first game type we have is uh, Tower Defense and I have four example games here. Um, I will not go into detail, I will show you small pieces of them. Uh, the first one is Desktop Tower Defense 1.5, the second one is Balloons Tower Defense 4, then we have the third one is Jamcraft Chapter 0, and then the final one is not really a typical tower defense, but I still put it in the same category because it's different but it still uses towers and such. It's called Creeper Worlds and yeah it's uh, basically the first game type is Tower Defense. So for those of you who have never played the Tower Defense game, Tower Defense games are basically about uh, creep waves going from one side of the screen to the other side, uh, maybe even from top to bottom and from left to right or something like that. And you basically have to build towers or other structures to prevent them from reaching their end goal. And mostly the towers shoot and you have to kill all the, uh, the creeps. And if you successfully kill a creep then you get gold for that and with the gold you can buy new towers and so on and so on. The second game type is Adventure. In Adventures you basically uh, are a character and you have to solve a quest or well you have to do something with your character you have to walk around pick up things talk to people uh, I have two examples here uh, the first one is Leisure Sweet Larry 1 and the second one is Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis uh, there's a big difference in graphics here but that's not really the point. It's more that you understand the, the the type of game it is. So, second game mode, Adventures. The third game mode is uh, very well known, I think. It is uh, a shooter, just basic um, vertical shooter in this case. So you move from bottom to top. In this case, it's depicted by Xenon 2. Uh, Mega Blast, I think it's called. Um, it is basically, uh, you are a spaceship or something like that, uh, most of the time you are a spaceship or a car or whatever, and you just have to shoot enemies and avoid getting hit by them. And then uh, the Xenon 2 game also includes a shop where you can upgrade your uh, ship and get better weapons or other weapons or... Yeah, kind of different things. I, I mean, everybody knows this. Um, so the third game type is Shooter. The fourth game type is Arcade Games. And I have two examples of that. First of all, Miss Pac-Man. And second, uh, Amorphous Plus. Both of which are one-screen games where you have to basically do a small task uh, either eat the pebbles or kill the monsters and once you've done that you go to the next level but the next level is still on the same screen and uh, so the screen never changes uh, it just becomes either a little bit faster in the next level with Pac-Man or with Amorphous well there is no next level you just get more and different and harder to kill monsters 
The fifth game type is also an arcade game. In this case it's uh, Donkey Kong, but it's a, a platform game. So platform games mainly consist of you jumping from platform to platform, maybe killing some stuff. I uh, think Donkey Kong, Mario, things like that. Um, yeah, everybody knows these games as well, so not a whole lot of explanation necessary. Platform games, number five. Game type number six is a strategy game. In this case, uh, Defender of the Crown. It's not very well known, uh, this kind of game type. Uh, there are quite some games with it. Um, you basically build up an army and you capture the next land or region or whatever. And by doing that, you gain the resources from that region and you can build a bigger army with which you can protect your borders but also capture new lands and the more lands you capture the bigger your borders become so the bigger an army you need to defend it and yeah it's a strategy kind of board game type thingy um, basically we're going to call it strategy game the seventh game type is a turn-based war game which in this case is represented by Jagged Alliance 2. Uh, what you need to do here is you have multiple characters and you can move them a certain amount of space and they can perform actions and you do all of your characters one by one and then the enemy can move their characters one by one and if they come into range or if you come into range you exchange fire and things like that all in all it requires a lot more planning than the real-time strategy games anyway the seventh game type turn-based strategy game game type number eight is kind of a unique type of game i'm not really sure what to call this um, it is basically a game where you have one base on the left, one base on the right. Uh, in this case, this is Age of War, by the way. Uh, they are a little apart and you build units and you use your units to kill the enemy units. And for every enemy unit you kill, you get gold. And with that gold, you can buy new units. The difference between this game type and others is that you have no control over how fast the units are going. You have basically no control over the units at all after you release them from your uh, base. Uh, there are several ways to do this, so don't get hung up on the fact that this game does it like this. I will be doing it in a different way if this is the game type that's chosen by people. So now I still need a name for this, and I'm going to go with Simple Combat Game. Game type number 9 represents a whole lot of different games. It is basically a puzzle game. In this case, it's Super Stacker 2. And yeah, this can be any type of puzzle game. If puzzle game is chosen, I will give you a list of, well, a new choice basically of different kinds of puzzle games and we'll see from there but number nine puzzle game game type number 10 is card games and card games exist in many different shapes and forms uh, I have three examples here first of all Castle Wars second is Necromicon Book of Dead Names and the third is Magic the Gathering Basically, card games can come in any variation of spell type or goal. The basic thing is that you have cards, so you have a randomness factor, things like that. Um, yeah, so basically, game type number 10, card games. Game type number 11 is a sport game. I'm obviously not going to create a uh, soccer game or something like that. Uh, it's more of what you see here. Um, this is Speedball 2 Brutal Deluxe. It is a futuristic sport game and that's the kind of game you yeah, well you should expect here. So it's more of an, uh, a game where you need a quick keywork. 
Let's call it that. So anyway, type number 11, sport game. And then the final one, number 12, Street Fighter in this case. Um, it's kind of my model for any fighter game where you have to fight the opponent in a one-on-one -on -one situation. There are a lot of these games already out, so everyone knows them probably. Um, yeah, I don't really have to explain, I think. So 12 is a uh, fight game. So what you need to do, as I said in the beginning of the video, is just list these in your comments. And please don't put any unnecessary text in there. Just put the names of the game types uh, with your ranking. And that will be all. I'm not sure yet when I will be looking at the results for this. But I will leave this out there for at least two weeks. Just to make sure that everybody who wants to uh, participate in this gets a chance to leave their comment. And yeah, basically determine what kind of game this should be. Oh, just for your information, this is going to be a single player game. So it's not going to be multiplayer. So keep that in mind when making your list. Yeah, that's really all I have to say about this. Um, please leave a comment.